Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and on my channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and wellness. I like conscious consumerism, I like unique style, and I like expressing my creativity through fashion and beauty. We are currently on a year of prosperity. I will link that playlist down below for the background information, but we're interrupting our current regularly scheduled content because I'm getting ready for a work trip. So today I thought we could go into what I'm packing on my personal bag for my flight. It's gonna include toiletries, beauty, and some other kind of miscellaneous things that I need to have on my person at all times. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll stick around, hang out, and let's dive in. Okay, I will timestamp what we're getting through down below, but I'm gonna go over non-beauty things and then we're gonna get into the beauty things. So the first thing at the top of my pile is my medicine. Now I take quite a few vitamins <laughs> every day. Those are in my suitcase, but what I have to have on me at all times is my pill case. Um, I do have a what's in my bag video that I'll link below. I have switched from the Sephora case. I still love that case and it's perfect when I have like my belt bags that I'm using or smaller bags. But because I'm traveling, I wanted to make sure I had my prescriptions for allergies. I've got some dry mouth lozenges. If you take a lot of antihistamines, the dry mouth can be real. Got my day and night migraine medicine, just Excedrin, some Benadryl, my magnesium supplement, and more dry mouth tabs. So I love this one from Amazon. It went viral on TikTok, but it's it really is kind of the perfect size and it has a magnet closure. So this will go into like a smaller pocket on my backpack that I'm traveling with that I will show you at the end of this, but it's nothing special. It's just a laptop bag because this is a work trip, but pills, medicine, must have. Then another item I keep loose are boogie wipes. If you know, you know. If you don't, I have a video. I struggle with allergies, so I have a lot of sinusy things that I need to attend to. The boogie wipes are great. I love the grape scent. It's the best one. You can get these on Amazon. I really miss when they had the grape in the travel size. They don't, so I'm making room for this, but these are great at keeping your nose from getting irritated and dried out from tissue use, so those are a must-have for me. It's just a saline solution, so there's nothing added. There's no decongestants or anything. They're typically geared towards children. They are not just for children. They are life-saving. I love those things. All right, and then the last thing that's kind of loose or on its own, I have it in a cloth and paper um, little clutch here just to kind of keep it from getting disgusting. And that is my Manta eye mask. So I am a migraine sufferer and I also am autistic. So anything that can give me sensory deprivation, I will take it at any moment, at any time. This is one of my favorite things that I purchased after getting my autism diagnosis and understanding just how much sensory deprivation really calms all of my racing thoughts and just helps my overall experience. So I have the Sleep Sound Mask. It is the most expensive one. I do really, really love it. Um, the best part about the Manta Eye Masks is that it's a cup that goes over the eye, so it doesn't smash your lashes and you don't get any kind of weird sensory feelings around there. And you can kind of take these off and adjust the distance so that it's perfectly fit to your eyes, which is wonderful. And they also have a couple of different types of eye cups. So these are kind of the regular, kind of soft, squishy ones. They have ones that you can heat up or eye freeze, and that really helps with migraines, especially when they become a little bit ocular for me. They also sell little aromatherapy discs that you can slide in between the lining here so that you get like the full nice smell and eye experience. And then the ones that I have do have earbuds that you can adjust based on how it fits your head. So I can listen to what I need to and also fall asleep. I do listen to things in this next to my husband in bed and he's never commented on being able to hear it. So I just, oh, I would love for everyone who needs sensory deprivation to try this because I have tried a sensory deprivation tank once and it was life-changing and this is like a little slice of that, but portable. Now we're getting into kind of like the more bagged up options. So 
These are two bags from Mina Bay. I will be doing a new what's in my bag video. I'm really falling in love with this brand fast. This is in the shade Moss. It's their Napa leather. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, the small one that I have is just filled with <laughs> gum and mints. So I, I have to have gum and mints on me. I have the Pure Three gum. This is an aspartame free gum. It is xylitol, I want to say. I think it's xylitol. I'll correct myself if it's not, but it's soy free, nut and peanut free, and sugar free. It's just a really nice gum. This one, the reason I like it is that it lasts longer than a lot of other xylitol based gums like the Pure Gum, even though it's the same company. Um, these are really great. This is the bubble mint flavor. I, it's like traditional bubble gum, but without sugar or aspartame. And then I have these Neuro Mints that I really want to try. I haven't tried them yet um, for calm and clarity. It has GABA, L-theanine, and vitamin D. There's those. I have my Travel Mirror from Cloth and Paper. It says looking good, just like a nice card-sized mirror that's really handy to have. And then the last thing in here is the strap. So why I'm falling in love with the Mina Bay brand is because they just think of everything. It's a diaper bag company, but I've been using their bags. I really love them and all of them are convertible to become a small kind of crossbody. So I have the crossbody strap here to travel with. I also have a nice metal one that looks really beautiful in kind of the gold that the hardware is on these bags, but I just don't want to fuss with metal while I'm on my trip, so I packed the leather one. But that's this bag. And then the second Mina Bay bag, which is a little bit larger, so for size comparison, this would be great for kind of like your phone, wallet, lip gloss, mints maybe a couple more things. Whereas this one, you could function a little bit more as like a purse with some, some actual things in it, you know, which is why I'm going to be taking it. I'll probably be using this as a purse the most. And in here is kind of like the quick grab things while I'm on the plane. So I have snacks, a kind bar, love it. This is pomegranate, blueberry, pistachio delicious. I really wish they would bring back the jalapeno one. It was like sweet and savory. It was so good, but a kind bar. And then my beloved smart sweets in the watermelon flavor. It's like the sour watermelon sour patch candies, which are so good. I will say smart sweets when I first started eating them had a lot more fiber and you could really tell now they don't and i'm kind of disappointed in that but they're still delicious nonetheless and it's a nice little little snack then i have some grooming things in here i have my travel brush that has a ton of hair on it should probably clean that this is from the hair edit it's very similar to a wet brush this is what i travel with it's the only one i need so just nice kind of groom myself getting off the plane because we will be jumping right into kind of activities and then I have my hair ties and bobby pins, so small elastics, some silk scrunchies, and a little container of bobby pins. I have lip balm, so I have one of my husband's. He really likes the Naked Organic Lip Balm from Dr. Bronner, so I keep that on me in case he doesn't have his. And then I'm keeping the Olivia Palermo Lychee colored lip balm that I talked about in one of my recent videos. It has a slight tint to it, but it doesn't really show on the lips. What it does for the lips is it like completely blurs them and they just look flawless and it's also hydrating. So that's my lip balm. Also, how beautiful is that gold case? We have so much to get through here. Okay, then I have my electrolytes. I use the Noon hydration tablets. A lot of people rave about liquid IV and all of that, but I love these because they're in a tablet form. So I have 10 servings in this one container just really, really nice to have, especially if you get migraines, especially if you're hiking like we will be. It's just nice to have electrolytes on hand. I have a vapor inhaler. This is great if you get congested. I don't really like to use Afrin or anything, so I've been using the Vicks one. My dad used to carry one of these around all the time, and I'm just picking up where he left off, you know, so that's good to have, especially on a plane if you need to clear your sinuses so that your ears don't build up too much pressure. Really nice to have. 
I have Crest Scope brushes, just a little quick travel in case I need to freshen up my teeth. And then as far as wipes go, I have wet ones. This is the Sensitive Skin Extra Gentle Unfragranced. I think it's just kind on a plane to not have heavy fragrance things around. So I like this. You can use it on the plane, use it in the hotel room, use it on your hands. It's just nice to have a travel pack. I keep it in my purse, so this just goes with me everywhere. And then I have the Everyone Hand Sanitizer Wipes. This is my favorite hand sanitizer, um, the Lemon Coconut from Everyone. And I don't want to travel with a liquid, so I have the wipes, and it's really nice. Tissues, enough said. Although I'm going to choose a boogie wipe when I can every time. Then I do keep some travel wipes with me. Um, one was a sample from Minimal-ish, kind of like an all-over body wipe. A face wipe from New Face, which is super old. It's the Prep and Glow. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but I love them. Just if I kind of need to clear my face off. And then I have the Real Organic Cotton Feminine Wipes, just kind of like a bathroom wipe. Just really like having those on hand. <laughs> and then the last thing I had is Skin Ice and Hydro Cooling Firming Eye Gels. Everyone always says that they do that on a plane. I never have, and I thought... Maybe I will on the way back if it's been a rough week of work things, you know. But that's kind of like my emergency plane kit. All right, moving right along. Two other things I'm taking. I'm taking my Simply Modern 32 ounce water bottle. I love this one because it is not spilling anywhere and it is a straw with a nice lid on the top. So if you don't want the straw action, it can be kind of a poor situation. I like the straw this one also comes with a filtered straw which is really nice especially staying somewhere where you might not have access to a water fountain um, it's really nice for that now it does not filter against bacteria so do with that information what you will but it will kind of get minerals out of the water so i probably won't be using the filter but a water bottle is a must and i'll also be taking my noise canceling headphones because I live daily life in these. So why would travel be any different? I have the Sony XM fives, love them. They're great. They're not the best for connecting to your phone as in the microphone part of it, but noise canceling saved my life. My autism diagnosis made so much sense because shortly after that I went and got those headphones. And as soon as I put them on, it was like just peace washed over my body incredible love those all right then we get into kind of like toiletry stuff i'm using the rare beauty bag that came out with their new body care line which i really love and in here is really simple i'm taking a dry shampoo a powder form because i don't want to have to pack the aerosol you'll see why in a minute i'm a liquids heavy packer but i have the odell dry shampoo it's just a nice powder haven't used it in a while probably will have different thoughts after this trip but I take that and then a lot of times I just kind of do messy hair that you see on my channel I kind of just like flick it and that's my hairdo for the day and what really helps me achieve that especially on a day like today where I might be a little bit flat is the got to be powderful it's just one of those texturizing powders also kind of doubles as a dry shampoo but it's so sticky feeling that sometimes I don't want that texture in my hair but I'm taking that I will have my toothbrush in here when it's time to go. I'm taking my Dollar Shave Club shaving stuff because you cannot take a safety razor on the plane. You have to check it and I'm not checking a bag so we're going to take that one. I've got my deodorant for this trip is going to be Dura-Dry. If you are a very sweaty person, stinky sweaty person, Dura-Dry is like a clinical strength anti-perspirant. Yes, it has aluminum in it. Yes, in situations where I need to be dry and not stink, I'm gonna use it and being with my coworkers for 12 hours, I don't want to stink basically. So I have the Clear Sky. I, I really like this scent, but I do like this, but it's very powerful. It will leave marks on your clothes. If you know that going into it, it's great, but that's what I'm taking for this trip. I have some Imodium and Benadryl in here, and then I also have the Pool brand retainer cleaner for my night guard. My night guard will be going in here when it's time to go, 
And then I also have a few of the Clean Day Skin towels for my face. I don't want to pack my makeup removing microfiber cloths that I usually wash my face with, so I'm just going to take those because they can be thrown away. I always carry a nail brush with me because I do get my nails done, and we did a really pretty holographic nude nail. I don't know if the lighting is going to cooperate and show you, but it's so pretty. And then that's pretty much it outside of I am taking a gua sha tool from In Beauty. They just sent me their new moisturizer and eye cream, which I am so excited about and so far so good, but we'll do a video on that. So kind of them to send it to me and I wouldn't have gotten this gift without you guys using my affiliate links from the lip oil video. So thank you so much. It was like such a nice little surprise and it came with this really nice gua sha tool, quite heavy, but I'm taking this because the night guard probably gives a hint to this, but I have bad tension in my jaw, I have TMJ, so basically I'm a walking mess if you haven't caught on, but I'm gonna use this instead of taking my TheraFace because it's smaller and more compact, so I'm very, very happy to have this. And that is everything in the Rare Beauty bag, which folds down pretty flat even with that stuff in it. I'm super happy about but we're gonna get into liquids I'm not including the makeup liquids they do fit but I'm gonna have to tetra style them again so I have my TSA approved clear liquids bag I got mine on or at Ulta I don't love cheetah print I don't have a thing against cheetah print it's just never been like a favorite print of mine it's just what they had before a trip Beauty Pie has really nice solid color ones that I knocked them for having, but honestly, if I hadn't already spent money on this one, I would probably get one because I'm just not a cheetah girl, you know? I guess some boring stuff out of the way, contacts, gotta have them. Uh, body lotion, I'm super dry and it's February, so I knew that I wanted to pack body lotion. I have very sensitive skin, and I mentioned this in my Get Ready With Me from last week, that when you are like a sensitive person and you have health, conditions it really stinks to have to pack the way that everyone else does because I require a lot of liquids and you're going to see that but it's because I'm sensitive and I need a lot of hydration so I picked up the La Roche Posay uh, triple repair moisturizing cream to use on my body so my skincare routine day today is fairly simple I don't have time or energy to do a really intensive routine. I do switch things out to test different things every once in a while, but for the most part, you're going to see that it's, I'm packing what I talk about all the time. So I'm going to use the same products morning and night with one inclusion at night. So I have the Phytosurgent Sea Submerge. This is a hydrating soothing serum. I talk about this in so many videos on my channel. There's an empties where this is basically a spotlight product because every serum that I threw out used up and threw out I compare against this and this one every time so this is super important to me especially when I'm traveling because if I get sunburn if I get a rash whatever this really helps heal it it also helps heal super dry lips so that has to go then this one's kind of on the fence I might actually take this out if I need room but the beauty pie pure ceramides I Elastic Boost Moisture Serum for Eyes. This has a nice cooling roller tip. Absolutely love this, especially if you get chapped in the corners. The ceramides in this really help soothe. It's also just really soothing and feels fantastic on the eyes. And I would take this, but I think I need the real estate and I have those eye masks. So I think I'm gonna leave this because I know that I can take the Sea Submerge up around my eyes without an issue. But moving on from there, for morning and night, I'm going to be using the Phytosurgeon's Verdant Force Feel. This is my favorite moisturizer. It just gets the job done. I do tend to go a little heavier at night when I'm at home, but for ease of traveling and packing, I'm just going to use it for morning and night. Then at nighttime, I use the CosRx Snail Mucin Serum. I got the mini at Target because it was buy one, get one free. So got two of these for the price of one and I do have some travel coming up this year so I know I'll use them up and I needed the smaller size then I also got a mini of the live tinted Hue Guard 
I will show you why that is because this is the SPF I use every day and this is the tube that I use. So this isn't TSA compliant. I got a mini again from Target, which is so nice that they have it. And I'm just happy that I can travel with it. Then also I picked up the Live Tinted the Hugard Solid Stick. So I typically carry in my bag the Super Goop one. I'm very fair and I burn very easily. I used to have a two block walk to work and if my shoulders were exposed, I burned. So I just never know when I'm gonna need to apply quickly to my body. So a stick is always nice and this one's very small and compact. So that's what we're taking. Oh, and I forgot my cleanser. So I have the Reese, I think is how you pronounce it reusable bottle to decant into so I have my Vanna cream gentle facial cleanser in this I use it for first and second cleanse it's the only one I need to pack it's amazing um, I do like these containers I do think you could probably find one just as good for cheaper but I do like these and it's nice nice and pretty and it locks closed there you go doop doop good to go and then if you're not new to my channel, you know this saga. If you're new to my channel, I'll give you the TLDR, which is a very sensitive scalp shock. This whole video is just about how sensitive I am and all the things I take with me, but they discontinued my favorite shampoo. I had stocked up on some travel size because it was all they had in stock. That's what I'll be taking on the trip. They no longer make this shampoo, which is a shame, but I cannot wait to use this on the trip because I really miss the basil scented shampoo of it all. Oh, they need to bring this back. Renee Futera, bring back the Naturia shampoo OG, the basil one, please. Then I'm taking my fragrances. I have a travel size of the Ellis Brooklyn Love. It's a very, very cozy, romantic, fresh scent. Definitely more on the sweet side, but I really love it. It's perfect for date night. And then my everyday perfume that I wear that is off as appropriate is the Ellis Brooklyn Suite. I have two sample vials that I'll be able to get through on this trip, so love that. Then things I keep in my purse, boogie wipes, hand sanitizer, love how small they are. And the Blink Dry Contact Lens. Again, allergies, sometimes you gotta re-up the moisture. Then also speaking of allergies, I have my Pat -A Day Eye Drops. If you have allergies and you don't know about this, it's over the counter, talk to your eye doctor. They need to monitor eye pressure, but this got me back into contacts and I love it. And then kind of miscellaneous things. I have a small gold bond healing moisturizing hand cream. It's just one that I had that's small, so that's going with me. Poopery travel size, a necessity, especially if you're traveling with a significant other and you don't want them to be subjected to all that stuff. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the Rare Beauty Aromatherapy. Find comfort, stop and soothe aromatherapy pen. It's very soothing, it has this nice cool tip. Definitely gonna use it for migraines and just if I need to like pause and take a breath. I'm not taking the aromatherapy tabs for my Monta mask because they're pretty intense. So I'm hoping that this is, can stay close to the chest and helps me kind of Keep calm in tense travel situations. So that's everything toiletry. We're now going to get into makeup and then I'm gonna have to try to fit all this stuff back in and I'll show you at the end. But for makeup foundation, I'm taking the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I kind of touched on this in my last Get Ready With Me. I know that this is gonna last 12 hour work days. So this is the foundation I'm taking. The concealer I'm taking is the Rose Ink. I love this. These two together give really nice kind of heavy medium to full coverage, but they still look like skin. They're not too dry, but they're also not too dewy. I really, really love how these look on my skin. These were also in my most used products. This is a base that, lighting. This is a base that will take me a very, very amazing product to ever leave. So those are going with me. And in the video that I just filmed, the only base product that I have on today is the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector. I have the shade Light Medium. 
I just hit pan. This is incredible. If I use it in the center of my face, it just looks really natural. And this is kind of the makeup that I'll be wearing to travel in. So that will go with me for travel and then kind of hiking makeup. Then I'm only taking one blush. I'm taking condensate from Photosurgence. You probably could have guessed that. I should have held for a drum roll. This is the blush that I wear almost every day and I know that I can count on it. I have it on today if the lighting will cooperate. I have it on today. It hides my rosacea well when I don't conceal it, but it also looks really great with a full glam makeup look. I talk about these products so much. Um, I'll link a couple videos down below where I go through some of these makeup products more in depth. Then also for base, MAC Fix Plus. I need this. I will use this just to give my face a little bit more life after I've applied everything in the powder just kind of helps it all meld together. It also rehydrates if I need to touch up and things have dried out throughout the day. So I'm taking my little travel size. We're going through the liquidy things first, you know. <laughs> For mascara, I'm taking the e.l.f. Lash Extender in the shade Brown. It is a very deep brown. It's also a tubing formula, especially for long days. Tubing formulas just win. We're really going to be putting this formula to the test. I think my camera overheated. Where I was, what I was saying is, I think it can withstand it. I've been testing this a lot and I really love it. I don't have mascara on today because I got my eyelashes lifted and tinted, but this is a trusty one. It's under $10. I can't believe we finally have an affordable tubing mascara that performs. Love this. The removal is not quite as like good and clumpy as Thrive, but I think that it is almost a better option if you prefer a lot more volume and wispiness to the lashes. The Thrive comes off in great clumps, but it's also a heavy formula because of that and it can weigh the lashes down. So love that. For an eye topper, I'm taking Lunar Light Wave from Phytosurgeons. It's a beautiful kind of like, it looks kind of peachy and it is peachy, but it comes out as just like a beautiful neutral champagne sparkle. Really nice to top over an eyeshadow look or to wear on its own to add a little bit of sparkle. So that goes with me everywhere pretty much. And then as far as lippies in kind of a liquid form that I'm going to smash into this liquids bag, I'm taking two of the Lawless Forget the Filler lip glosses. I'm taking Cherry Vanilla and Popsicle. So Cherry Vanilla, which is very loved in my collection, is like a nice sheer cherry red that just gives a really lovely kind of fresh look to the lips. It doesn't add a ton of red. And then Popsicle is a nice sheer purple berry that adds a nice kind of cooler wash to the lips. And I find that it pairs very, very beautifully with condensate. And actually, let's, or no, we're rolling with it. I said, actually, I wanted to apply one, but the last liquid gel lip that I'm going to be taking is the new Uli Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. These have not gotten the hype that they deserve. I have three of the four flavors. So I have lingonberry jam here that I've talked about on my channel, but they recently just released this strawberry and also a cocoa flavor. I won this lippy from my declutter bingo. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm on a no slash low buy, a no buy for most makeup other than replacements. So I chose this as my bingo prize and man am I happy it smells like strawberry lemonade from Red Robin if you know you know like fresh strawberry lemonade that's made with real strawberries it's so good just kind of a really really light pinky beige I'll swatch it next to so here is the Uli Henriksen cherry vanilla from Lawless and popsicle this is so hydrating and this is what I'm probably going to be reaching for is like my night lip treatment as well. But that's all the liquid stuff. Let's get into kind of the solid stuff for makeup and wrap this up because my camera is screaming about the heat, but that's everything in it. We fit it. The liquids is always what gives me the most anxiety. All right, getting into solid makeup, my bronzer, I'm taking the Phytosurgeons. Spectral Sun. I have the shade Rosy, Rosy, 
Daybreak 2, favorite bronzer, love it, use it in all my videos since it came out, minus maybe one or two. Then I have my Eco Tool sponge in my favorite silicone travel container. It has plenty of air slots so that it doesn't mold. And then that came with this is my brush holder. So let's just go through those really quick. Four eye brushes. So I have the Rare Beauty eye shadow brush. It's like perfectly shaped as like a finger. So it's great for cream shadows, especially when I don't want to dip my finger in. So I'll be using this with condensate and also Lunar Light Wave from Phytosurgence. And then from Refer, I have the 15 for my crease and the 21 as a flat shader brush. Pretty much all I need for any eye look. And then to make a smoky eye easy, my favorite is the Beauty Pie Shape and Smudge Eyeshadow Brush. So you have a nice pencil on one end and then kind of like a flat detail brush on the other. So that's going. I'm taking an eyebrow brush. Any will do. This is from the Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum Collection. It's 23. It's got a brush on one end and an angled, can you see the white? An angled eyeshadow or eyebrow brush on the other or eyeliner, however. And then to round us out for complexion, I have my Beauty Pie Pro Angled Concealer Brush. That's what I used in the makeup look today that I'll be posting. Really nice to get into potted products like the Beauty Pie Corrector that I packed. I just don't like sticking my fingers in, you know, especially when they get low. And with these nails, it's just not cute. Um, then for bronzer, I would typically take the Phytosurgeon Soft Quill, but to fit it into this small brush container. I'm taking the complexion buffer from Eco Tools, Super nice for bronzer. And then the seamless foundation buffing brush from Beauty Pie. That's what I'll use for my foundation. And to set my powder, I use the controlled setting brush from Eco Tools. It's the perfect size to just really get in under your eyes. And it's also kind of sparse enough and flexible that it doesn't over apply powder. So all in all, I am taking nine brushes could i do with less absolutely but little things like having every brush that i could possibly need just makes me feel like i'm at home and not traveling so we're gonna do that so for setting powder westman atelier vital skincare press powder and translucent it's my favorite we're gonna completely pan that this year and then for eyeshadow because i was trying to pull mostly from my february makeup kit I pulled the Ilia Cool Nudes palette so that I can go kind of smoky and romantic. And then as an everyday and with one of my favorite one and done shades, taking the Au Naturel palette by Olivia Palermo. This shade here is my perfect one and done. And then I can do plenty of looks with these neutral shades. So I love how compact both of these are. They're barely bigger than my bronzer. So love these. Then for brows, if I decide that I need a little bit more shaping and color, I'm taking the e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette. Then to amp up a smoky eye, I'm taking the Coco and Black Liners from Victoria Beckham. If I want to add a little bit more smokiness definition. I swear, what I was saying is because the Olivia Palermo Palette doesn't have a deep black or a deep brown, those eyeliners will just help me if I need to smoke something out. And then as far as lips goes, I'm taking the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Toast of New York, as well as the Lawless Lipstick in the shade Wedding Day. So I have a nice muted red and a perfect nude for me. This is an absolutely gorgeous shade. So is Toast of New York. It's just, I get a punch of color and then a neutral look. Then for lip liners, I'm taking Fit Glow Lip Liner in Nude. This is my lips, but better shade and goes really well with Wedding Day. So down there. Also adds a little bit of depth and contour to my lips. And then the last one I'm taking is the Rosewood, which someone told me to washi tape this. I'm going to do that as soon as I wrap up this video because it's genius. And that's just a little bit deeper and cooler if I want more of a contoured pouty lip look and then I always take my 
Ulta Beauty Dual Ended Brow Highlight. Really easy to highlight the inner corner, especially if I'm just doing a no makeup makeup look or using it with a cream shadow. And last but not least, my little eye sharpener for my eyeliners and my lip pencils. And that, my friends, is all the makeup I'm taking. So between these two bags, I have all of my makeup and skincare, body care needs. And before we do a nice little outro, I forgot to mention that I found this and I'm so happy I did because it is an external battery that plugs into the wall. You don't have to pack a brick. And then it has the cords right in it that you flip out. And so I have my USB-C, I have kind of like the Kindle or Android, and I also have a lightning cord to charge. This thing is so genius and it definitely limits the amount of cords I have to take and it's gonna go into my little cord organizer bag with my laptop charger and my portable mouse, but that's probably boring stuff. That's pretty much everything that's going into my personal bag. For the flight, I have a carry-on just full of clothes and my vitamins and that's it. But I hope this was helpful. I am so nosy and I love getting ideas from what other people pack and what's in their bag. It might seem like it's been a chaotic video because it has, I'm running out of time. Today is Friday, it's after work. We are about to sit down and eat and then take Frank to his grandparents' house where he will stay. So I hope that you're having a wonderful week. I know it was chaotic. I went through things kind of very high level. One, to keep the video short and two, just to show you what I'm packing. If you want dedicated reviews on any of these products where we go in depth with swatching, pricing, any of that type of thing, functionality, let me know. I'm happy to, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a great week and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.